Hey guys, I am SG today back with some more Clash Royale. Now as many of you must know that the clan wars update is already here. And if you go in your clan type uh, clan type, you will actually see these three types. It's actually it's four types. You can no longer see this clan type. It's just a magnifying glass. So here is your normal chat and here is your friends and here is your war now many of you must know how the war system works in clash royale but for those who don't know i will explain it to you but first i want to go over some things uh, as you can see supercell changed the look of uh, your profile see uh, a fog lag appearance comes on the top four cards uh, this actually looks pretty cool and inbox is the same and if you actually go in your chat this is also changed a bit see uh, your clan name you can see this purple trophy icon and with your clan name it's actually the trophies you get from clan wars now what do they do i am going to tell you now so the war how the war system works is you go in war tab now uh, first of all you should at least be a level 8 uh, to participate in clan wars and unlike clash of clans everybody in the clan they can take part in the clan just if he slash she is above level 8 in clash of clans we have to choose the members who will participate in war and they always have to have to be a multiple of 5 but here you can all the clan members actually take part in clan chess. Uh, no matter if the number of them is a multiple of 5. Now you have a bunch of different game modes here. You actually get 3 attacks on the collection day. So the clan wars actually have uh, basically 2 days. First is collection day. Now what you do in collection days? You have a bunch of challenges here like 2v2 double elixir double elixir battle and uh, this is actually draft battle but someone is already battling it and uh, another thing that if someone is already playing one of these game modes you can't play it you have to wait until he finishes that game mode now as you can see uh, I can't really battle it Okay, sorry guys. Uh, so I have already completed the clan uh, come, come, collection day battles, but you actually get this chest. Uh, I will show it to you. Uh, here it is. So uh, actually, it depends on your arena. As you can see here, max king level is nine, so it is based on the challenges. If you are level 8, you stay level 8, but you are, if you are level 9 and above, your king tower will be level 9. And if your cards are level above tournament standard, they will still be of tournament standard. But if they are below 2 of tournament standard, they will be below tournament standard. Uh, you must and you might be understanding what I am trying to say. And also, these just contains cards that depends on your arena so the higher your arena the more cards you can give to your clan now what do i mean by car giving cards to your clan so you can actually not battle with all the cards you have in clan wars on collection day you battle with all those game modes and collect cards if you lose you get a wooden chest like i have one here it gives you 75 cards and if you win you get this chest 150 cards both of them are actually called uh, clan cards chest uh, yeah. it is not written here but if you get them it will actually say clan cards chest so you collect them and you can see a clan cards you collect them and open them you and you get cards from that chest now as you can see all these cards we can only use these cards to 
battle in clan wars as you can see they are level uh, we almost have all legendaries of level 2 and all epics almost level 4 uh, we almost have all the cards of tournament level um, still many of our players have not attacked so we might be getting some more legendaries but yeah you can only make deck from these uh, let i will actually share a deck with you guys tomorrow it will probably be a lava loon deck cause you i think i will you can only make a lava loon deck from these type of cards um, yes i will probably make a lava loon deck so you must you now might be understanding how the clan system works and as you can see here as you win uh, clan wars or lose by winning you get uh, many trophies but by losing you get a bit of them you still get some trophies but you don't get many trophies and here like you have uh, the seasons so the leagues in ladder matches like that you have leagues for clan wars you get a season chest the season currently ends in seven days so it's approximately the same as clan chest now as you can see here the league rewards I will quickly uh, just tap on these if you want to see the rewards you can actually pause you can pause the video and see them but uh, in the bronze league tier 1 chest you are guaranteed a legendary in 10 chests and as you can see there are three leagues bronze 1 bronze 2 bronze 3 uh, in bronze league and uh, you have similarly you have silver 1 silver 2 and silver 3 and similarly a gold one gold two and gold three but in legendary league you only have 3000 trophies oh uh, it's called the legendary not sure why it is not called legendary one but yeah in the legendary league star one chest you are guaranteed a legendary so it's basically a free legendary skin chest it gave 630 cards so let us see how much cards they get this gift so it almost gives uh, double the cards of the legendary skin chest and it's absolutely free i think that the leaks will reset cause otherwise every clan which every clan will reach uh, the legends league as you can see we are gaining a bit of clan cards uh, so guys that's it for clan wars now let's I think jump into a uh, classic challenge cause I want to show you a deck uh, it's this deck hog motors uh, what do you call it yeah hog motor swarm deck uh, it has been working for me really good and I have been winning with this deck quite a bit so let's do our first battle so we are facing against Coco Poppy from the clan La Con Quilha how do they even keep these type of games let's drop spear goblins cause I really don't want to waste my zap for skeletons and let's do a counter push and keep our zap ready let's do ice spirit uh, yeah so i will put a goblin gang for the valkyrie now you must be thinking why goblin gang for valkyrie cause it can kill uh, we might be in bit of trouble yes uh, i think he might be in a bit of trouble cause for a moment i thought the freeze would kill us I think he over expanded on, on his elixir. Let's try to be aggressive here. Let's drop an ice spirit. Yeah. Uh, do I need to do something? No, we will just ignore that really barbarian for now. We are quite low on elixir. So what do I want to do here? I know he has a balloon. Mm, 
let's drop the naked hog rider because we don't have anything good let's keep our zap ready for this carmy yeah and let's keep our motor for his valkyra and his balloon hopefully the whole valkyra will get attracted and let's put the eye spirit here so that our motor can stay a bit long it's a super nice tornado by our friend he got nothing let's drop another hog rider waiting for his car me no scar me this time let's actually rocket these cause they are super bad no yes i'm becoming like like chief pad guys you know chief pad is known for missing his rockets yeah guys he is probably dead here let's actually do something cool do this and this and wait for his car me no scar me yeah you have a scar me here he will probably try to go for a balloon but it's too late for him uh, he is probably dead guys he will probably go and try for a balloon here yeah he is dead there is no way he is in so good game and well played to oh no he actually see free the freezes no it's actually a good game that balloon can do nothing and the motor actually finished the game so good game well played to our friend coco pupi and let's do another battle I am hoping to do three battles in this video, cause I want to show you uh, a variety of decks against this deck, so you can know how to counter those type of decks. So, in a bit of cases, you might have uh, awkward starting hands. So feel free to use uh, your Swami cards. like this and let's zap it so that the motor doesn't get so much damage let's put a goblin gang here because i think final tower could, could have done a bit of damage to our tower let's actually put a oh no guys we are dead please yes so we are not actually dead but we are actually dead you know what i'm saying i'm doing a lot of misplays guys i am over expanding on elixir i should keep my molta for a defensive position uh like this start like this hand you can do really nothing so I just put this and this and then zap it. And we should defend it with this guy. Let's do this and this. And so that battle is going to take our tower. I think we might be losing this battle just because we misplayed at the start. We used a lot of elixir in the starting. Let's do this. Yes. And let's do this. Yes, guys, it is the. Let's do this. and that should hold the game for a bit he is probably going to fireball all this actually he has no leg for fireball 
let's actually turn this push into a counter push no guys there is no way we are winning if only in this starting we had not over committed on Lixia we would have been easily but yeah you will face a bit of a problem against big spam I still think we could have won there but if we don't lose we won't know the meaning of winning am I right guys? I am always right you know it let's actually do this He is running the classic 2.6 hawk cycle deck which has a fireball which he will probably use from a minion hole. No? Okay, no problem. So the minions will do a bit of work to his tower. Let's keep the pressure up guys. The main power of that hawk cycle deck is quick cycling and now this deck actually actually the power of this deck is also quick cycling but our opponent has a deck which can quick cycle much faster than us so i think we will have to rocket cycle here and then ok so he is planning for a hawk push Oh no guys Let's actually do this Do this And this So he is going to do more, much more damage than we did But it's okay uh, let's put our mortar like this so it can actually hit the cannon and let's do this and let's do this and then let's do this again so we are basically trying to cycle to our cards again and again and this is a battle of quick cycling guys let's see who wins and he is probably going to win cause his deck is much more fast cycling than ours let us see if we can win no guys there is no way we are winning the rocket just goes so slow don't you think so um, so let's finish this battle off with this deck let's play ladder match we only won once and i told you guys it was the best deck i was actually right but i did a couple of misplays there and let's do a dark prince and then what is he going to do? The mirror is uh, let's do a pump guys. Let's do mega minion for this. Prince, if I had the tornado, I could have activated my king tower. Let's keep our zap ready. Uh, the prince will get a hit. Uh, it would have gone a hit off. Hmm. So what shall we do here? Let's put a dark prince here. 
and then we will put an energy collector here and this time we are probably going to activate our king tower he has to respond to it i think the dark prince will get no let's activate our king tower and let's do this so he still does not know that we have a gold and double prince battle deck let's so ignore, ignore that he is for now let's put a dark prince and the collector that is probably a super bad spot to put down the collector down let us drop this but the benefit of it is that that we now have enough for another golem i knew that would happen this and this oh guys so he may win just because of his poison spells yeah guys i don't know why we are losing so much so that will wait for this video guys i don't know why we are losing so much uh, or we should do one, another battle Let's do a battle with the big fan guys. Let's end this tournament. You know what by ending it? Ending this tournament I actually mean lose it. Uh, let's punish him cause he just used the pump. probably going to punish us cause he has a pump guys always try to take care of the pump cause it is super annoying when you go against the pump deck let us actually fireball these and keep our magic archer ready for whatever he sends to protect this musketeer Ah uh, yes guys, the magic archer killed it. Let's try to be sneaky, not sneaky, actually aggressive. And hopefully, no guys. I thought the magic archer would hit the tower. Ah, uh, let's go for it, guys. He is super low on elixir. Calling out for a defensive miner of your opponent is not a good sign for your opponent cause that means that he doesn't have any lecture. Let's keep constant pressure. Mm. Let's drop an inferno. Drop the magic archer and zap it. And I just got on time. Uh, it's actually faculties. Please reach in time. No, yes. So that actually reached just in time. And we will now do this and this. Yes. So we did. And it's pretty much game over for our friend.
so he will actually beat out my fireball but i think that's okay cause he will have to respond in some way or other for this big push of mine he is probably okay he is putting constant pressure on me but that is not going to help him and yeah guys so it's gg for us so i am going to end this episode here hope you like my videos and if you like my videos please subscribe my to my channel and like this video i would appreciate you if you do that and peace out